Good morning, everybody. We are on our way downtown. Good morning. Good morning to my Mr. I got Sebastian. My Starbucks. <laughs> he made his homemade coffee. Oh, we tried the oat milk. If you guys watched my, okay, there's honestly a hair. Um, if you guys watched my grocery haul, we love the oat milk. It. Uh, do you like it? It's really good. I was gonna say it makes our coffee taste different, but only because it's obviously new. But so so good. So now I'm in trouble because I can only get that at one Target by us and the Harmons where I got it yesterday, so that's inconvenient. But anyway, um, yeah, I went inside. We're down. We're going downtown to work on some stuff, meet with our friend Peter, um, and I. We were on our way down there. I went all over the place. We were on the way down there, and I forgot my camera at home, so we had to turn around so I could edit a video. So yeah, we had to turn around to come back home so I could grab my SIM card, but then I just thought, why don't I just film today? Because it's gonna be a fun day, and I love getting little bits and pieces when we're downtown, especially at Christmas. I think it'll be really cute. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop, all bundled up. It's kind of cold today. I'm wearing the same thing in all of your vlogs. <laughs> so I just literally, the same outfit but that's what happens when you love something that's like my cheetah suit i wear it every day so hope that you guys enjoy sebastian is going through a hard 80s face right now i love his music <laughs> every move you make. Every move you make. side now we just had the most insane <laughs> like interaction. We were at this coffee shop downtown. Do I say? Yeah. The people's coffee. Shop. Yeah, we I will never go to that coffee shop again. I'm literally straight up. Leaving a review. They were so mean to us. Like this girl was so it was like the quietest coffee shop I've ever been at. Me and Sebastian go to coffee shops all of the time and we get and I've coffee. been to this one yeah. so many times. We get coffee sometimes, sometimes we don't and it's always totally fine. This girl was not busy at all. She comes up to us and is like can I make you guys anything? And we're like, oh no, we're okay. You know, we're like deep into a conversation. She's like, I only ask that because it's getting really full and people that actually pay for something need a place to sit. <laughs> and we were like, okay, like we're more than happy to leave. Okay, so editing Carly here and I decided to cut the story off there because you could tell I was really heated and was just like being rude also. But regardless of the story, I think, um, yeah, just customer service is like so important. And like I said, if it was like a place where you have to pay to get in or you know it's like a bar it's like sometimes i go to the bar and i don't get anything i'm just there to hang out and like we've just never had that be a problem and after we le we like left a yelp review the owner like reached out to us and he was really cool he was like that's unacceptable you guys are more than welcome to come and not pay coffee anytime like that shouldn't have happened we're really sorry um so yeah i just decided to like now talk about it talk about it when I'm cool headed but yeah she was just really rude to us anyway I think if she would have just been nice about it and like I don't know I don't really know if there was like a better way yeah it was just like her attitude so anyway continuing on with the day it's great to like see the manager reach out to us and we understand things happen it's not everyone's great day I don't know what it was but now I'm afraid of coffee shops no. <laughs> We're home from the mall now. I thought I'd set you guys up here so I can show you what I got. Um, we popped into Zara and it really wasn't expected, but I really wanted some new jeans because I've noticed that all of my jeans just don't fit me tight enough. They're all so big. So um, yeah, I had to resize and find a new pair of jeans. So I got this really cute pair it's like nice high-waisted so i think that's what these are called the classic mom fit <laughs> and yeah i think they're really cute i love this wash personally so i got a pair of those and then i also got a pair of the straight black jeans if you can see and it's just in a black and it has like a nice raw hem which i think is cute so that's all we picked up, and yeah, we met our friend Peter for lunch, which was fun. And now I basically just have to edit the rest of the night. This beanie is actually so itchy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna take this beanie off. We have to make dinner, and um, yeah, I'm gonna edit for the rest of the night. I've wandered up into Sebastian's office just because he has a cozy chair, and 
I really have to get this edit done and this vlog up. I have three hours to do it, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I brought myself <laughs> a little snack up here in case um, I get hungry. I have my cute new candle burning, and yeah, I cannot wait till I have like a desk and a space where I can work, but for now, I'm stealing Sebastian, so hopefully I get up in time. <laughs> I kind of forgot I was vlogging today, if I'm being honest, but I just went and took a bath. Oh, it's not gonna focus. I just went and took a bath, and now I'm actually making dinner. And I'm making a yummy, healthy soup, which I'm actually excited about. It's like a corn soup. Um, so hopefully that'll be good. I have Sebastian in the back. We're actually doing something really fun. We're, um, my best friend is getting married. I'm gonna have to put you guys down. Hold on. Um, as I was saying, we, it's kind of hard to cook in general for me, so telling a story and cooking is not the best, but, um, my best friend is getting married in February and they're getting married in Laguna Beach, and so we're planning our trip out there, um, getting flights, but then we decided to extend the trip out a little bit and go to Disneyland, <laughs> and I'm actually so excited, so that's what Sebastian's doing on the table. Oh, I'm looking a little bit red. I'm wondering if it's my camera again, but um, yeah, it's gonna be making some soup and this is what we got going on. Just basically butter and onions and jalapenos, but we'll see, I don't know what I do next, so I'll be right back. This is what we have for dinner. I didn't show the rest of the process because it was kind of <laughs> frazzling to cook and film at the same time, but I tried it, it's really good. If you don't like corn, then this definitely isn't the one for you because it's just corn in there and a bunch of different spices, but you could easily add like chicken, steak, whatever you want. Um, I just paired mine with a piece of <laughs> toast um, because it sounded good. So I'm gonna eat this now and hopefully try not to drop it on the way to the kitchen. Hello everyone, I'm in the Chick-fil-A parking lot <laughs> and I thought that I have to start my vlog now because this might set me back a little bit and the whole reason for this video is to show you guys my hair transformation. I'm calling this part one because within the coming weeks you'll see extensions added, length added, it'll be very fun. So this one is just like my first appointment to freshen up my color. I'll probably do a little bit of a trim Unfortunately, my hair's in a bun right now, but you guys have been watching me every day, so you'll you'll know what my hair looks like. But it's still pretty dark. I do want to keep the roots fairly dark um, and then just lighten up the ends. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm so, so excited. Um, Yeah, I'm so hungry. So I decided to stop over at Chick-fil-A to get something first. And they're always fairly fast when there's a big line, but it is 12 o'clock, which unfortunate timing but um yeah so i wanted to take you guys along my hair journey and i'm so excited i love the salon that i'm going to um they do great work they specialize in extensions so that's initially why i wanted to go there i'm excited to meet her and get my hair fixed because i've had this appointment booked for only a week now which is fine um because normally when i have it booked for so long it's like i freaking hate when my hair is so ugly and i haven't gotten it done if that makes sense anyway I can't wait to get my mac and cheese. So this is my hair afterwards. We went a little bit lighter. We kept the length, obviously, because I'm gonna do extensions, but I really wanted her to like cut my bangs like very wispy and just like here, basically. Um, and it doesn't really look like that. I literally look the same, which is kind of like underwhelming. I feel like maybe if I get like a round brush, I can like style it so that they come in more. Which is Hi, baby. Hot. But for the most part, I literally look Turn the around. same. My hair's so staticky. It is. It looks very good, baby. Do you like the color? I do like the color. Yeah, the color's pretty. I just, I think, yeah. Which <laughs> I think once I go to the store, I don't. You guys. It looks know. really cute, though. It really yeah? does. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Thank you. So yeah. This is my new hair. Next year, it'll be long. Oh.